So, what is gossip? What do you think gossip is? To me, gossip is something you do, I mean, just to do. Um, you talk about somebody. You talk about, you know, what you like or don't like about them. Whether it's true or not, it's still gossip in my book. Um, so I am going to read what this says here. Um, what is gossip biblically? Biblically, gossip is sharing information that ought not be shared. It may or may not be true. This is where we assume too much concerning gossip. Too many people think it's okay to share information that shouldn't be shared because they believe it is true. In my book, True or Not, It's Still Gossip. Okay, the biblical difference between gossip and slander. Okay, let me read some of this article. King Solomon was known for his surpassed, unsurpassed wisdom granted by God. By the inspiration of God, some of those jewels of keen insight are recorded in an ancient document known as the Book of Proverbs. Here are two practical statements. A gossip betrays a confidence but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. A perverse person stirs up conflict right. and a gossip right. separates close friends. Uh, no, no. Those both came from the book of Proverbs, I'm pretty sure. Um, Oh. So, let's not, not read there, some me. more of this article, and then I will talk a little bit more about what I believe deep, deep, uh, about gossip. Yeah, you don't want that junk on it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get a... Five years ago, a guy named Rick I'm Renner was reviewing that. scripture concerning a lesson he was about to teach. As he sat at a Starbucks in Moscow. He recorded a video of himself sharing his discoveries and posted them on YouTube. He emphasized how horrible gossip is and even said some believe it, believe it, it's worse than murder because his video was so powerful and relevant it went viral along with among Christians. He summed up the biblical reality that gossip is the worst of all abominations. Not all of us would agree but we know gossip is bad. Even so, we find no, it all too wood. prevalent okay. in Solid. society. Worse mm -hmm. yet, no. it's in our churches. It's not very deep at all. No. Gossip is in our I churches. Worry about it, it's not that there bad. are no. many no. reasons it'll be, it'll be fine, people fine. struggle with this horrible, divisive, and destructive sin. <laughs> Some of the more flagrant ones is justifying it because the gossiper believes what he or she is spreading is true. This is a basic misunderstanding many of us have, so let's clear it up. Paul was concerned as he intended to visit 
the church in Corinth that he might discover their behaviors were not as he hoped. He wrote in his letter to them in 2 Corinthians 12, 20, B. I fear that there may be discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, slander, gossip, arrogance, and disorder. That's the NIV Bible. Notice how he mentions both slander and gossip. There's a reason they are related, but different things. Biblically, gossip is sharing information that ought not be shared. It may or may not be true. This is where we assume too much concerning gossip. Too many people think it's okay to share information that shouldn't be shared because they believe it is true. So they justify sharing personal, private information that is nobody's business to share. In their minds, it's fine to destroy things like relationships and reputations because, hey, if it's true, they deserve it. One could learn quite a bit about how God sees different types of sins by researching what kind of atonements could or could not be made for sins done intentionally versus those done unintentionally. There is a huge difference in a person who simply and often selfishly messes up and a person who purposely goes out of his or her way to try to hurt other people. As the Bible teaches, the heart intentions of one who gossips is evil. Slander is spreading false information. We need to understand that one can be gossiping and slandering at the same time. And one can be gossiping and not slandering at the same time. In other words, gossip can be true and slander is false. Some information is nobody's business to share. So what if you have the dirt on somebody else? Why is it okay for you to spread other people's personal and or private information? Jesus said, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned. And that's the ESV, I think that's English Standard Version. True or not, don't share others' personal and or private things. That's gossip. And I totally agree with what I just read. Gossip is either true or not, but slander is not true. Gossip and slander both hurt the person that you are talking about. And whether what you're saying is true or not, it still hurts the other person. Um, and if you believe that somebody is um, using other people or somebody is whatever, I believe 
that if I believe that, I should go to that person and tell them or, and confront them. You do not go on social media and tell everyone what this person has done to you. You do not go on social media and tell everyone this person is lying to everybody because I think they can walk and they're sitting in a wheelchair. You do not go on social media and talk about other people behind their back. It is not right. And in my book, true or not, it is gossip. So, I don't know if you agree with me or not, and if you don't agree with me, I'm sorry, but this is how I believe God sees it. You don't talk about other people behind their backs. You don't tell everybody, this person did this, and this person lied, and this person is this and that. That is gossip. True or not, it is gossip. That is where I'm coming from today because I feel like I have come across a lot of gossip lately and among Christians. We should not be gossiping about each other. We should go to that person and confront them and tell them, hey, what you said was very hurtful. You hurt me. You don't go on social media and tell everybody what you think they did wrong. And that is my video for today. I really felt the Lord nudging me to make this video because of a lot of gossip that I've been hearing on social media. So, until next time, may the Lord bless you and have a good rest of the day.